What is up, everybody? It's your host, Jacob Ham, along with my co-host. Dakota Major, a.k.a. Strongest Catfish. We're coming to you a little bit early this week, the reason being that we just today fit finally, finally finished our never-ending hypertrophy block. Dakota, how's it feel to be done with high reps for a while? Oh, it feels amazing. I feel like a newborn kid. I mean, I just, I'm, I'm not a rep guy. I like to lift the heavy weights, and doing reps, it really just, it's too much cardio. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that 10 sets of 8 on any exercise is 10 sets of 8 too many. Yeah, yeah, especially on bench because that seems to be where, you know, that seems to be our main focus when it comes to high reps, high sets, and I ain't about that. I'm glad to see glad to see some triples and sets of 4 coming in. That's Oh, yeah, I'm so happy. I love my triples. I love my sets of four. Doubles and singles are the best. Yeah, hands down, double and singles, they always make you feel more like a man. I'd rather do 10 sets of one than one set of 10. I would, too. It's, you lift heavier weight, and you don't get out of breath. Um, um, well, let's kind of start from the beginning. So our aperture block was kind of a learning phase for us because I've never done actual clean and press. And you've never done a true, like a true hypertrophy block. No, I've always been, you know, the regular gym, bro. I just like to go in there and lift heavy weights and look like I know what I'm doing. Now, seems like I actually do know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, we, well, I think that our form on everything is drastically improved. And, I, you know, when we started out, we started fairly light. Um, and you and I both were like, well, this is too easy. Um, but I, I don't know, I've done enough of these that I know that you got to appreciate that month or so of it feeling too easy because it gets hellish toward the end. But Yeah, I've um, seen that. You know, I feel like this hypertrophy block has been the best building phase in my lifting career so far. How about you? I, I feel like it has been a high point of my training that I've done so far. We're going, I'm, going, I'm coming on two, well, no, about a year and a half, going on about a year and a half now of just solid training, probably about two now, but... This would be my second year competing in strongman and powerlifting, so that's exciting too. But I mean, I feel like this. What was it? We've had about four months of it now, and it's just I, I've noticed an increase in vascularity that I've never had before. I Man, my arms are just mm -hmm. filling out, my chest is filling <clears throat> out. I'm slimming up. I'm seeing muscles where I hadn't had muscles even after five years of training. You know, I I'm seeing improvements in areas that I've never seen before. I think we. We did something right this go round. I don't know what it is, but we did it right. Well, I mean, and I'm I'm improving on a lot of my the only lift I haven't really seen much improvement in, which I ain't tried heavy yet, my deadlift. But as far as my bench and squat, my squat right now is leaps and bounds ahead of what it was, you know, probably about four or five months ago. I mean the same thing with um my squat's the same way, my deadlift is same thing you're saying. I and I think for our listeners, the reason our deadlift has been funky is that we have been training nothing but from the floor for several months leading mm -hmm. into that powerlift to me, and then shifting. And I, I mean, for years, I have done nothing but from the floor. I haven't even done, you know, alternates other than, mm -hmm. you know, pausing my deadlifts. So this was my first time pulling from wagon wheels. Your first time in probably six months doing well, wagon wheels. It, 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 it probably well, I, I would actually say I'd give it about eight or nine because you know, last April, the, well the beginning of last April was the last time I pulled from wagon wheels. So we're getting back to it, and yeah, and we started back with this and said what late September. So I mean, truthfully, we we've done fairly well, and I think that's the reason our deadlifts have felt off. I know when we, this week was our deload week and pulling from the floor, it was just a godsend. I mean, 315. It was, flew for both of us. It was, but well, it should, you know, but it, it felt like an empty bar. It didn't feel, you know, usually 315 when you're deadlifting feels like, you at least feel like there's something there. I mean, it was, by the time we got tight and pulled ourselves set, the bar was off the floor and we were standing mm -hmm. up. Um, it felt so good to have that, just pull from the floor again, but I think, and I'm hopeful, both of us had sticking points, kind of, well, mine's, Dakota, yours is more below your knee, about even with your patella, mm -hmm. mine's, at the lower end of your patella, mine's up here, when I get over the top of my knee, is where my sticking point is, unfortunately, that is exactly where we're stuck lifting right now with these wagon wheels, mm -hmm. so I'm hopeful that and I, I, even in that little light deadlift we did this week from the floor, I noticed a difference. Yeah, I did too. My my power was all the way through. 
it had the same speed when I came off the floor as I did when I locked out. So that that was new to me as well. But yeah, I think the reason our deadlifts have kind of slacked off was that we were having to learn how to pull mm -hmm. heavy. And, you know, not reps like you have in previous comp, but heavy for a heavy single on, um, and me learning how to do it, period, on these wagon wheels. But we're going to be looking at fitting some pretty high numbers come here soon on the wagon wheels. Yeah, I mean, next week, you know, we, we've had, we saw, we talked like we were doing light. Everything was for high reps on the deadlift, you know, five reps and up, you know, six, five, six, seven sets, depending on the day. And it was always at 500 pounds or 475. It used to be like 500 for a top set and then 475 for drops, which while light on deadlift, it, it felt heavy for this kind of foreign movement. Uh, I think next week we're going to start out in the 525 range. That's what I'm thinking, about 525, I think that's what we're programmed. No, it ain't 545. Yeah, I think next week we're easing into heavier weight for triples. It's I think it's going to be about 525. I think the range is 505 to 525. Mm-hmm. Uh, the following week will be a little bit lighter because you know we we all alter, we alternate. Well, if we deadlift heavy one week, we squat heavy the next. Um, reason being, I, my back with my with my um, my sciatic nerve issue. If I if I overdo it, I I don't do well. So I can I can squat heavy or I can deadlift heavy any given week. But I really struggle doing both. Now, how do you feel about adding some of these strongman uh, events to our or strength block. How's that? How do you think that's going to affect you? Well, I, I'm excited about it. You know, truthfully, the movement exercises I'm not worried about, um, and I'm looking forward to the grip exercises as well. You know, I I trained my grip little by little throughout the hypertrophy block, just getting it ready because we had agreed to to add in you know grip training and all mm -hmm. these other things into our <coughs> strength block. So I'm really excited. I'm not really worried about it. I think. Really, the only thing that's going to affect us is to be the sandbag carry. I'm afraid that the sandbag carry may, because we're going pretty heavy. We're working. What, what's our training sandbag in there? Two uh, fifty. Well, two fifty is the heavy, our heaviest bag we have in the gym right now. But we're going to start off at about one fifty, then two hundred, and then we're going to work our way up to two fifty. And I'm I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to find another bag for 300 because my comp weight for me is gonna be about 300. Yours is probably gonna be in that 250 range. Well, I mean I'm gonna train to 300 either way. I, and that's kind of our that's been our tactic going into the competition. I hope I'm not revealing too much here. Is that in our hypertrophy block doing high reps, we've been doing comp weight for our high reps. So naturally, my 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 heavy like. Prime example, my heavy axle is 235. Um, and I've been doing my, and the light axle is 205, and I've just been banging out sets at 205. You know, six by six at 205 a couple times a week. And my plan is in strength block to train with the heavier weight. Now, what is y'all? Is y'all heavy 275? Uh, 275 is the heavy one, and I think 235 might be our light. I, I might be off a little bit on that. I'll have to check. But I plan on training with with their two seventy five. Dakota and I honestly want to get up around three if we can. That's a yeah. On the push press, I know I'm at, I'm there, but it's my clean that I'm not certain. I'm I'm not a fan of continental clean as I've said before. I really like doing mm -hmm. a plain double overhand grip and clean it. And I know up into the mid two hundreds I can still do it, but I don't know. When I get in that 300 range, I may have the continental clean. Yeah, in the 300 range, more than likely, you're going to have to continental clean. And you might not. I mean, it, it's really down. A lot of people say the heavier the weight, the worse the clean. It's getting that technique down is the biggest thing. So we might have to start watching some, uh, you know, actual weightlifting, Olympic style, to see if we can get some of those techniques in. And, you know, every little bit. And being that it's an axle, it's a little different. You know, the grip you got to rely on your grip a good bit to get it up there. So, I mean, it's going to be a learn moment. And we got plenty of time to learn it as long as we start, you know, we'll start next week, really getting pat down on the clean because the clean is going to be the most important part when it comes to that clean and press for reps. Because you're going to have a lot of guys who can overhead press 275, no, no problem whatsoever out of the rack. But when it comes down to the reps from clinging, because you have to cling every rep, they're not going to be able to do it because they just 
they don't they they overlook that part. You know, they think it's going to be easy, but in reality, a cling is harder than the press. I mean, I agree a hundred percent, and that's you know, if we could just clean it once and do a max rep from 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 the rack position once you get it up there, I mean, I wouldn't even sweat it. But it's it's. I don't even know if it's so much my strength on the clean. I know I can do the comp weight with ease, but it's doing maximum repetitions with it in under a minute and keeping that. My endurance past rep number seven or eight is just negligible. I mean, seriously, when I get about five or six, I start losing my wind. And the closer I get to 10, it's just, I'm gasping. Well, so. with this strength block, which is going to sound insane for a strength block, but I actually think it's going to build up your... Uh, Stamina, you know, your... Yeah, my, my, we, neither one of us ever... And that's something I... I I'll, I'll be interested to hear if listeners, by all means, drop a comment if you have any uh, recommendations on this. The code and I both, um, we get past... And we're we're physically in the best condition we've ever been. My health, my numbers and all are better than they've ever been. But when I get past rep five or six, I'm just gasping for air. Now, I can do... I, I can do cardio, I can do bike and everything else fine, but it's it's something about those compound movements for high reps. Now, if it's a light weight I can do, and that may be what it is, we lift heavy, yeah. even on our hypertrophy block, but it, it's like I can't seem to get that, my wind built on that. So if anybody has any recommendations on how to build your wind at these heavier, heavier weights, other than just getting stronger, uh, please drop a comment and let us know. Um, Dakota, I, I think... A kind of a closing thing I want to talk about before we go. What is your goal? You know, we have two phases of our strength block. Mm -hmm. We have uh, the first phase, which is, we've talked about that, you and I, earlier tonight. It's kind of like a slow roll into it where it's not all in. It's a gradual build up to our peak. Um, and the second phase is going to be fairly intense. And the first phase is intense, but the second phase is going to be really something else lead into that peak. What is your goal for this first phase of that first few block? For this first phase, I'm hoping at the end of it, I'll be pulling 600 from the wagon wheels with the ease. You know, it's going to sound crazy, but I want to, you know, be able to pull it for at least three to four times at 600. Uh, my overhead, I'm just, I want to improve my clean because my clean is pretty bad right now, which I ain't trained it. And I'm, I'm hoping to get my I'm hoping to get my press up through here on the strength block. I'm I'm hoping to be able to press two seventy five the actual comp weight three to four times maybe even five. But in my head it's going to be set at ten because yeah. When I set a goal, I always set it for ten because ten's a good number for me. I mean, and then let's see going on that the Denny Stones. We're going to be doing our grip strength on the Denny Stones. I'm hoping to have comp weight the heavy weight the actual Denny Stone weight. I'm I'm hoping through this strength block we can get that up to about seven to eight seconds, which don't sound like a long time, but when you put your hands actually on these, it's fairly hard. Uh, Just we, I mean, as, a, as an example, we played around with the the there's a heavyweight and a lightweight at comp. The original weights are heavy, and then the lightweights slightly less. And we played with the lightweight when we first got the Denny Stone handles. I held it for what twelve seconds. Uh, I think. Well, no, I think you're top. Yeah, it's probably about the 11 or 12. Well, I was in 12 or 13, I thought. But I know you held it for, it was under 10, and Daniel was under 5. And it and it's not the weight. It's the, the way the handles are built. It feels like your hand is pulling apart. I mean, it, I've, I've, I've never had a more painful grip exercise. Mm -hmm. I've done a lot of different grip tests. And that, for me, this one, when every blood vessel in both of my hands ruptured. Um, and that was with the lightweight. So I, I guess for me with the Denny Stones, what I want to do is just, if I can get the actual heavy weight up and it be comfortable, you know, it's not, I mean, you know what I mean by comfortable, like mm -hmm. to where I could do it regardless of how I feel. Um, because lifting the weight wasn't bad and holding it in my hand wasn't bad. My grip didn't give. It was handling that pain. Yeah. Yeah. Strong man's all about, you know, where your pain threshold is. And I think this will, we'll find out. And I think you'll get there. I mean, it, it, the Denny Stones part, I don't think it's more getting stronger. I think it's going to be more mind to body control. Like you're going to have to get in the zone. And I got to find my zone. I'm usually good at the grip exercises, 
So I got to find that zone that I was last year in and get back into it. You know, I think that's something you and I both lost in hypertrophy. Even with the, even when it was hard, you know, we we've been more lighthearted and jocular. We I feel like we've really enjoyed our training a lot more, which you're supposed to do. But you know, it's it's flipping that switch, mm -hmm. getting serious, you know, cutting the crap and just getting down to business and putting in the work. And I, I think, you know, we we've had a, a lot of fun with it this last little mm -hmm. bit. I think we'll have fun with the strength block, but I think that, you know, we're going to get a lot more. We're going to have to get serious, like buckled down, like balls to the walls kind of tight. Yeah, and in, in our diets, at least mine, at least, I've, you know, I'm still floating in the mid, mid to low 240s, um, mid 240s in the evenings, low 240s in the morning. And I, I've got to get, by the end of the strength block, my primary goal, I want my weight to be at comp weight. So that way I can... I don't have to worry about it. Yeah, you don't have to go through no bad cut or anything. Yeah, and lose my strength and you, change my... What I'm worried about is changing my leverages. Mm -hmm. um, not so much on the clean and press, but on the... Really, on any of the movement exercises even, I probably will improve. It's on that deadlift because mm -hmm. I you know, I've been, I have been deadlift so wide. Yeah, like a, like a fat guy. Yeah, and I'm, I'm worried that dropping that 15 pounds might... It could. It might narrow me up some. It might throw off my, but it, my it, grip. But it's a possibility if it narrows you up a little bit, you might be pulling better. You never know. Never know. I don't know. But we'll have to see. But yeah, so I, I guess my lifting goals, other than the Denny Stones we talked about and my weight, I would really like to – I'm going to talk about bench. We're still doing bench. I mean, I would like to do – a paused, like a comfortable pause set of four at 365 or 385 on bench, which I know that don't sound like a lot for what I, I bench on my singles. Mm -hmm. But for me, when I get on bench at least, it is easier for me to do a single over 400 than it is for me to do a set of four at like 345, 355. On bench, my reps, I just, I don't do as well. So I would love, I mean, I've done 385 for a triple before. I've done 365 for high rep sets. But I'd really like to have a, like a really comfortable long pause set of four at 365 mm -hmm. or 385. Like one where I, I got, you know, more juice left in the tank. Well, you're talking about bench. I'm, I'm hoping that my bench will be about three, 350, 365 is what at I'm hoping. At the end hoping. of this block or at peak? Uh, probably I'm I'm hoping at peak. Not at the end of this yeah. at the end of this block. I know I got three I've done three thirty five in the gym before. You wanna do it like for a set of three? I would love to do three thirty five for a set of three. That would that would be amazing. That might be a good goal for, for this block is get it for three. Or get three fifteen for three. Mm -hmm. I think well, three I, I, I think three fifteen for three or like a comfortable three or four might be a good goal. That I, I think three fifteen for a comfortable three is a possible goal like right now, like Within the next two weeks. Well, that's what I'm saying. You know, this block, this this first phase, the strength block, ain't but four weeks. We might four or five. I can't remember. So I think maybe that should be your goal for bench. Do like three fifteen for a comfortable, mm -hmm. comfortable, comfortable triple. Because I did, you know, two ninety five for a comfortable six. Yeah, I then, think I think that three fifteen for a comfortable three or four would be a good goal, and then you know, at peak, break that three fifty mark. Mm -hmm. Um. On squat, you know, really and truly, I think that at, at the end of this strength block, I just like to, as crazy as this sounds, my squats really suck until after I peak. Mm -hmm. Well, you know that. You train with me long enough, you know that. Um, I, I think where I want to be on squats, because we're not really emphasizing squat right now, you know, we're kind of just hitting them to keep them built up. I mean, if I got, I don't know, maybe like five, Five to five twenty-five for a comfy set of four. Mm -hmm. You know, like like a got two or three left in the tank set of four. That's kind of what I want to be at the end of, of this of this first phase of the strength block. Because right now I think that's about where I'm at. But I hadn't put a lot of heavy weight on my back on squats. I mean, if I if my CNS the strength wise I know it's there, but it's like getting my CNS trained up for the heavier weight, getting to where I feel more comfortable with it. I think if I can. You know, five to five twenty-five for a cozy set of four at the end of this first strength block. That'd be good. Same thing, deadlift. I think that if I can hit on this wagon wheel like five fifty for a set of three or four, like a comfy mm -hmm. set of three or four, that'd be a good end goal for it. Um, 
Well, man, we've kind of reached the end of what we were, what all we were going to cover today. Uh, you got any closing thoughts heading into this next week's training? Uh, my closing thoughts is y'all about to see some really impressive stuff happen here soon. You, you, you're about to see two of the strongest guys from Lake and Newton County destroy heavyweights this uh this strength block the next strength block in the coming couple of years i mean you you if, if you stay tuned you're going to be seeing the making of probably two of the strongest guys in mississippi well maybe one of them i don't know about me i gotta i gotta see where we're going but i i am hopeful i think this going into red brick rumble this is certainly the best i've looked the best i felt this is the healthiest i've been and this is far and away the strongest I've been and I, I'm very confident in my lifts which is something I'm usually not you know you know as well as I do I, I get in my head so bad about lifts and with this I never doubt it when I grab that bar I know it's going up so I really think we're in the right mindset I think you know we've had a lot of fun with hypertrophy we've suffered yeah, we've suffered with the reps but you know we, we've had fun with it and I think that now it's time to get serious you know, what did Eddie Hall say? Swim to those dark, deep waters and find yeah. what you, you know, find that place. Uh, and I think we're how to find that place within us and, and get drill down deep and see what we're made of. Um, stay tuned. We look forward to taking this journey on with y'all. As always, if you want to be on the podcast, we are looking to do more interviews. That's kind of the direction we're going. You know, obviously we'll have strength commentary about our training, but we would love to have more guests and just talk about, how, what you do, what your goals are, what your aspirations are, and any advice you can have for, you know, fellow lifters in the area. Just be sure to reach out to us on social media or call us or drop a comment and let us know. Well, I think we're all out of time. Thanks, guys, for listening. And as always, stay strong. Eat hard. And eat hard. <laughs>